Hello again fellow model builders and welcome to another video guide. Today I'm going to build a small desert diorama with palm tree and several soldier miniatures. Before I start making the wooden base I have to plan the whole scene. I always try to make it as smallest as possible because it is easier than focus on details without leaving too much empty spaces. I mark down the proportions of the wooden base. Well, I wouldn't need the pencil anymore, so I can use it as a core for the palm tree trunk. I estimate the size of the palm tree based on the original photo. The palm tree trunk is created from two component maniput party. It is important to properly mix both components. It is easier to do if you cut them to smaller pieces first. I wrap the pencil with mixed party. I have never sculpted the palm tree, so I had to experiment a bit with wooden texture. The metal mesh was not a good idea. Rubber sculpting tools prevent to me to be very useful. You can usually buy them in artistic shops. I create the bark texture with tapping the rubber sculpting tool into the party. This technique will create an interesting texture that is much better than my previous attempt. The palm cone is much more difficult to sculpt, but everything can be done. When I am finished, I let the party properly dry out. You can paint the Medipool party with ordinary acrylic paints. I start with brown color and then I add some highlights with sand color. I am using a technique called dry brushing. Finally, I need to add my photo edge palm leaves on the top of the palm tree trunk. You can paint the leaves separately or like me after the assembly. The brass can be very easily shaped. I randomly bend the leaves so they wouldn't look so symmetrical and identical. I glue the leaves on the top of a palm tree with super glue. The palm tree is finished. 
For the first try, it is not so bad at all. I even like it. Let's return to the diorama. I made the wooden base from the spruce board, then I made the frame from the spruce beams used for RC models. I spray the base with matte black spray. The black color is very popular for desert dioramas because it creates a nice contrast for the light desert sand. I tried to use a product for making deserts, but it wasn't very useful. The clay was too much firm and it was hard to work with it. I didn't like the result, so I covered the surface with PVA glue and poured very fine sand upon it. I simply picked the sand outside in the local forest. The sand is quite dark, so I unite the surface first with black color and then I spray it with the sand colors. I highlight the sand using lighter colors and dry brushing. Now it looks like real desert sand. And now let's go to paint some British soldiers. I paint the whole figure with an airbrush and then I paint all other small details with fine paintbrushes. The miniatures are not too much detailed, so the washes help me to make the shades more pronounced. I make the highlights on the uniforms with acrylic and oil paints. Alright, it's a finished and bloody hell it looks really good.
I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe you have learned something new. If you are thinking about building your own diorama, then try to choose a reasonable size. The smaller size will take you less time, it will be cheaper and you don't have to think how to fill all space around. So you can focus only on important details. This way you will enjoy your crafting much more. Also, you should consider which models are suitable for dioramas. For example, this model of Tiger in scale 1 to 35 is just too big for any ordinary diorama. Just a huge tiger and this is my small diorama. Hmm, maybe I will put their mind for this model, but I'm not sure. Um, and that is all today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.